this is one of ours and I purposely messed it up. But these things happen all the time. What I find is 30 years on from using a typewriter, that typewriter habits sometimes still crop in to actually working with documents. So, for example, years ago, I would put a sheet of paper in, type what I wanted to, and press the big return key till I got to the next page. This is a word processor. Don't do that. That is a clear no-go in Word. What you are doing is you are creating yourself issues when you're working with a document. Let's have a look. So if I click on this icon here on my home ribbon, it's known as the show hide key and actually it exposes all of the bad habits that you have. And the first one is that people will return until they get what they want onto the next page. Well, it looks all right, but the problem with that is if I delete something up here, trying to come out of Copilot for a minute, let me delete something up here and everything then starts moving up. And then I have to add in more returns and try and get it on the right page. And it's quite frankly, a nightmare. So instead, do not repeat your returns. You should never do that. That is a no as far as word and word processing is concerned. We can either go to our layout and go to breaks and we can pop in a page break where we want to. And you see there's no returns here. So I can start deleting things up here and it will not move back. And I want to put one in somewhere else. The shortcut way of doing that is control and enter. So you can see I can see my page breaks in here now and they're not lots of returns. The second thing <clears throat> that people do badly is use the space bar to line things up. Let's just go and remove this for a moment. These options have all got three spaces before the text. So you would think that would line things up, wouldn't you? But actually, a space in word processing is proportional. It's not the same as a typewriter years ago when we had a fixed key size. So you must never use the space bar to line things up. If I go here to this show hide, you can see I've actually pressed the space bar. So you want to stop that habit. You can either use the tab key or you can use bullets and numbering to replace. If I just want them all indented, <clears throat> then the tab key will work. And then that's beautifully lined up against the tab mark. The last thing that I try and encourage people to do and this is a subject in itself, but I'm just going to touch on it in this session, is working with styles. Everybody who has not had word training often just goes to your formatting, changes the font and everything like that through there. But Microsoft Word is designed to be a really clever formatting document system because you can create or apply your own design of how you want your headers to look your normal style. So for example, if I want these all in a different font, everything that is normal, I just right click and modify it and change it. I'll change it to one that I don't like just for now in this document only and everything based on normal style has changed, but my headings haven't. So watch out for my 
little tutorial on styles coming up, but try not to make the key word processing errors and try and keep your documents formatted correctly. See you next time.